In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, and peace, mercy, blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The prayer is one of the main and most important pillar in Islam. It's a connection between a person and Allah Almighty, the Creator. A person should and must pray five times a day as Allah Almighty prescribed and made it obligatory upon each and every Muslim to pray five times a day. These five prayers are Al-Fajr, the dawn prayer, Al-Dhuhr, the noon prayer, Al-Asr, the afternoon prayer, Al-Maghrib, the sunset prayer, and Al-Isha, the night prayer. For a Muslim, he should cover his awrah. And what is awrah? For men, the awrah is the part that a person should cover while praying. For a man, from his navel until his knee. This is the minimum requirement for a man to pray. For a woman, a Muslim woman, she should cover her whole body except her face and hands. As we mentioned before, that for prayer, a person must perform wudu, ablution. And after performing the ablution, a person should come to prayer. So let's say a person is coming. Number one, a person should have to have niyyah. A person should have to make niyyah intention in his heart that he is going to certain prayer and he will pray. So for example, a person is coming and he will stand, he will make niya in his heart, not by saying that I would like to pray so-and-so prayer and I'm in the masjid to pray so-and-so prayer. And this comes with the action. Anyways, you're coming to the masjid to pray a certain prayer, that's it. So you stand, number one, and make intention. Secondly, you have to face and your body towards the qibla. What is qibla? This is the direction of each every Muslim that he or she should face to Qibla or the direction of Kaaba, which is in Mecca. So after making the intention and standing straight with your feet, with your body, with your face, a person should put his hand like this, which is above his shoulder or between his shoulder and his ear in between. So a person can do like this or like this and then say, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar means Allah is the greatest because we are standing in front of the Creator, in front of the Allah Almighty in the prayer. After that, doing Allahu Akbar, you put right hand on the left hand like this. It should be in the middle of your chest, on your chest, or below the chest. That's completely fine and there is no harm in it. After making the takbira and saying Allahu Akbar and you're putting your both hands on your chest, you have to recite the opening of the prayer. And there are many opening of the prayer. I'm saying opening of the prayer, not opening of the surah or the chapter of Quran. So number one, what you will do, Allahu Akbar and then you do the opening. There are many openings of the Salah. One of the most popular one is Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik wa tabaraka ismuk wa ta'ala jadduk wa la ilaha ghayruk. After reciting this short dua, you should read the first chapter in the Quran that is Surah Al Fatiha, Al Fatiha chapter, chapter number one. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a person or Allah Almighty will not accept Salah of any person if he or she does not recite Surah Al-Fatiha. So again, raising your hands, saying Allahu Akbar. And one of the important thing is that a person should put his both eyes the place that he will prostrate. 
So, Allahu Akbar, and then looking down, the hand on the chest, and then reading the opening of the salah, which is Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik, wa tabaraka ismuk, wa ta'ala jadduk, wa la ilaha ghayruk. After that, a person should say, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim, then recite the al-fatiha. Allahu Akbar. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik, wa tabaraka ismuk, wa ta'ala jadduk, wa la ilaha ghayruk. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, ar-rahman ar-rahim, مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين آمين is not part of فاتحة but it's highly important that a person should say which means oh Allah accept my dua after reciting Surah Al-Fatiha and then saying Ameen, it's also highly recommended that a person should read few verses or short surah, chapter, after the Fatiha. So for example, after reading Al-Fatiha, you will read a short surah, which is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Qul huwa Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yalid, wa lam yulad وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ After reciting the second surah, a person should say, Allahu Akbar, and going to the ruku'ah. And a person should read or recite, Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim, Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim, Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. A person's both hands or both fingers should hold upon his knees by saying Allahu Akbar and holding both hands in or on the knees holding both hands on the knees also one important thing that your back and your head should be straight as much as possible your back and your head should be straight as much as possible your head cannot be down or up it should be straight with your back and then you say subhana rabbi al azim subhana rabbi al azim subhana rabbi al azim after coming back you say sami allahu liman hamida rabbana wa lakal hamd and raising your hand only one time and very important that after that it's up to you, you want to keep your hands on your chest or you want to say Sami Allahu liman hamida, Rabbana wa lakal hamd and wait for some time and then you go to the prostration. After the ruku'ah, a person should keep in his mind that he is going to sujood, prostration. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us a person should make sujood or prostration into seven parts. And these parts are face including nose this is one then your two hands and your two knees and your two feet so two feet two knees two hands six parts and then your face that includes your head and nose so you will do semi allahu liman hamida rabbana wa lakal hamd and then you go to the prostration allahu akbar Allahu Akbar. After coming from the prostration, you should sit like this, your both hands on your thighs near the knee. Your right foot should be straight and your left foot should be on the floor. While you're sitting, a person should say twice, Rabbi Ikhfirli, Rabbi Ikhfirli. And after saying it two times, a person should go back to the prostration by saying, 
الله أكبر الله أكبر By that we completed our first rak'ah That contain your standing your saying Allahu Akbar your ruku' your bowing coming back from the ruku' then going to sujood then coming back to sujood sit and then go back to sujood and then stand up and you do the same thing with the second rak'ah you read surah al-fatiha after surah al-fatiha you read one of the one of the short surahs or any few verses from quran then again you go to your ruku' you come back from ruku' saying sami allahu liman hamida rabbana wa lak alhamd go back to your sujood in sujood you say three times subhana rabbi al a'la you come back and then you go back to the sujood second time and then after that you should sit into your second rak'ah to finish your prayer if you are praying two rak'ah for example salat al-fajr the fajr prayer and now we will sit and explain the second tashahud after finishing the second rak'ah and second sujood a person should sit like this putting his both palms or hands on his thighs and you will sit on your left foot and you will keep your right foot straight as you can see after sitting into this position the position of sujood let's say if you are praying fajr which is only two rak'ah two units you sit like this and you point with your index finger towards the qibla like this and you should say at-tahiyyatu lillahi was salawatu wa tayyibat assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi as-salihin ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid wa barik allahumma على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد. and after this a person should say السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله and by saying salam both sides you're done with your prayers but let's say if you are praying ظهر prayer عصر prayer مغرب prayer or عشاء prayer that is more than two rak'ah what you will do you will only pray two rak'ah and after that you will start praying or saying the tashahud at tahiyyatu lillahi was salawatu wa tayyibat and after saying ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu you will stand up and then continue praying the third rak'ah or the fourth rak'ah after that you will sit and take the same position and complete your whole tashahud and you will finish your prayer by saying assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah and by that you are done with your prayers mm -hmm.